Previously on Banjo Tooie. Hello, everybody. Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. We are in the final stretch of the game. We literally have one more short mini world and then we're done. In order to get there, though, we have to come back to Quagmire with the suction cup boots. And we need to go up this little, uh, almost hard to see pathway. And there we go. Here's Cauldron Keep, the last world of the game. You can also hit this switch to make it easier to get up here, but... There's almost no point to that now, because I plan on staying here until I finish. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so first off, we have to find a way to get over there. There are two switches on that side. And I think we're going to switch to actually, or split up in order to get there. You can use Banjo to just hop over the Acid Swamp. And with Kazooie, we're going to take a bath in the a- okay, not really. We are going to fly, though. And that's quite literally the only puzzle we'll ever have to do. That's it. That, there's like nothing else we have to do. Now, we can jump through these lasers, but there is also another thing we can do as well. We can also just turn the lasers off completely. But you can jump through those holes, you can. You don't have to do it this way. But it makes more sense to do it this way. I think the other way is just for speedrun tactics. Hmm. What do we have in here? Hey, Kazooie, there doesn't appear to be anyone in here. Oh, yes there is. The music's changed. Every time that happens, we always end up in a fight. Grr! <laughs> Clongo must defend Mistress Grunty Castle. Career questioning minion. Don't you ever learn? Clongo clever. Learn lots. Has learnt new potion. Is it as useless as all the others? Yes, er, Klungo means no. Must win this time or mistress fe feed me to monster. Okay, here is Klungo's last potion. This one makes him go invisible. Now, in this fight, he has really, really good aim. So beware of the potion, seriously. It's like he can predict where you go, which is really, really insane. But aside from that, though, this boss is not that difficult. That's honestly the like the worst one to get at this point in the game. <laughs> Longo noticed something happening as they're fighting with Spare and Bird. And that is Clungo gets less and less handsome. Now Miss Clungo won't want me anymore. Clungo had enough. Future prospects not good with Mistress Grunty. No chain chance of promotion. No day soft. No parry. Klungo go find easy desk job. Maybe make stupid games. Okay, well that's it for Klungo. We're good. 
Now we can actually enter this door all the way down here and see what we have inside. Tower of Tragedy Quiz. Thank you, thank you. I'm Grunty, your host, and may I welcome you to my Tower of Tragedy Quiz. Let me run through the rules for you all. There are three rounds of general knowledge questions, and the person with the lowest score at the end of each round will be eliminated. Correct answers score two points, with one point being awarded if it was second guess following the incorrect answer from another contestant. Get one wrong and I'll take two points off you. Press B to buzz in and then A to answer if you can. Now let's meet tonight's victims, er, I mean contestants, shall we? Introducing on the left, it's my gorgeous slim sister Mingella. On the right we have my lovely er shapely sister Blobladelda. And in the middle, just some loser bear called Banjo. Let's start with round one. Okay, here we go. Uh, we would be finding Bigafoot. Okay, that was easy. It's actually, uh, Wait for her to ask the question, though. Okay, that was obvious. She just did the same thing. Let's see, we have... That's in Pterodactyl Land. I believe... Wait, that was her who answered? I thought that was me. Oh, there we go. Um... There we go. Jiggy. Jam jars! He was little kitty up there. For some reason, my B button's acting kind of weird. It's not registering all the way. Okay, that's the pot of gold. Oh, come on. I, I knew that. Not compete against long jump. It's a high jump. Okay, what do we have next? Madame Grunty's tent. Four stars, two moons. Oh, shoot. I'll guess. Okay. How long did Gruntilda spend in her grave? Two years. What didn't the Jade Snake do in Mayhem Temple? Bite Banjo. He was very, very tame. Which move does Banjo on his own learn in Pterodactyl Land? That would be the Taxi Pack. Who are the similar looking arch enemies of the Jinjos? The Dimbos, the Bumjo, no, the Ninjos. What is the color of the power cable that powered the bar? Blue and yellow, yeah, that's right. 
What does Mumbo Jumbo the Shaman live in? He lives in a, a magical castle. That's the end of round one. Looks like my sister Blobelda has as thick as her waist, and her score of four is as low as her IQ. Here's your consolation prize, Blobby. Well, she's dead. Time to move on to round two. I didn't travel to Cloud Cuckoo Land on a boat in a bubble. Here's a scene from the game. That is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fans, maybe? Oh, idiot. What colors were the propeller tips? Aren't they white? Oh, no, they weren't. Okay. Here's a scene from the game. Okay. There were three. Uh, no? Oh, I guess if you want to count. Yeah, I think everybody's beds were in there, so there's four. That's right. It was written on the electromagnet cover and. Dang it. What was the name of the Clock of Land's athletes? Mr. Fit. Mr. Fat. How do you gain entry to the big fish in Jolly Rogers Lagoon? Knock his teeth out. What brand of food container is not seen in Claw Cuckoo Lens trash can? Ah, oh, dang it. I guess probably Wonder Barf snacks. What brand of canned carrots is found in Cluck Cuckoo trash can? I have no idea. What giant footed dinosaur tries to crush you? That would be Stompadon. Steposaurus! <laughs> Which of these is one of Boggy's kids? Soggy. Okay, blue, green, red. That would be the Cave of Horrors. Let's see. That's inside the fish, right? Big fish. Yep. What item did the pawnbroker at Jolly Rogers Lagoon have for. Yep. Ungabungus Cave. I think he only has two. Oh, no? I guess he has three, then. And she doesn't answer. Not like it mattered. She would have died any. Okay, well, that round was a little more t difficult, but I still beat it. Bye, Minji. Okay, we have one more round. Now listen carefully, dunce. I'm changing the rules for the final round. To make it harder, I won't show you the answers unless you buzz in. If you don't know the answer, I'll let you press Z to pass and move on to the next question. I'll set a nice little score for you to beat within the given time. I wish you plenty of bad luck. 
Let's play. Okay. It's the final round. What is the name of the Ginger's King? Jingling. What is the name of the Frozen Explorer? Saber Man. How many letters there are in the name Banjo Tui? I believe there's uh No. How many different ways in the factory and grinding industries are there? Um, oh god. Okay, 11. What is the name of a quiz I haven't hosted? Beat the bear. What was wrong with the pirate and jollies? He was... Seasick? Yep. What pressure level is shown in the exterior dials of Grunty Industries Trash Compactor? Nope. Damn it. What is that at the top of Grunty Industries Chimney Stack? I believe it was a honeycomb piece. Which of these isn't an area in Grunty Industries? Generator Plant. What label would you find on the bottle inside Claw Cuckoo Lens Trash Can? Jolly's Juice, yep. How many icicles fall from the Icicle Grotto roof and how far it peaks? I believe eight. Or seven. Who has got one of the prizes for my last quiz in Granny's Furnace Fun? That'd be Pano. Where is the Jiggy located in which you will star spinner? On top of a planet. What does Mayhem Temple's cat like warrior baddie carry? I believe a. What is that spade? Nope. Which Banjo Kazooie character is found on the side of the milk cart? Nah! Haha! <laughs> Tootie's dead. Um. What's the name of World 1? No, I haven't! What color is Mumbo's Feeble Energy Staff Attack? I think. I did not mean to choose Mayhem Mine. What's wrong with the F? Okay, yeah, that's because it won't. Uh, I have run out of fuel. Which of the Banjo only moves is activated by holding Z and pressing. I believe that's... No, snooze. Ah, dang it. Which of these areas is not found in Mayhem Temple? Dark Gun Fields. Oh, there we go. That's the end of the final round. What a useless score that... Huh? What's wrong with the scoring system? It must be broken. You can't have got that many points. No, 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 no. I declare the win invalid due to the faulty equipment. Oh dear. So what happens now? Hmm. I don't know. Any ideas? You could escape in a cowardly fashion like in Banjo-Kazooie before we kick your bony butt. Yes, I could. Thanks, bird brain. Fortunately, I've built a rocket into my booth for this very reason. I'll be waiting for you at the top like last time. But this time, you'll be the ones taking the fall. Okay, well there we go. Right, come on Kazooie. Let's go and see where that door and that's just open leads to. Do you reckon that's the end of the game? I doubt it. We've not had the credits yet. That's true. Okay, let's go. Wow, that thing was set to go off anyway. And with that, we're going to get some credits. I don't have a lot to say here because... Well, obviously this is not the end of the game yet. There's so many loose ends we still have to fix.
Right now we're just taking a look at all the different worlds in the game. I kind of like what they did with the credits or the half credits last time where they kind of had the uh, characters talking while they were, uh, you know, reading off the names. Or at least gave you a chance to kind of see all the characters again. But this doesn't take too long. We're just seeing like all the worlds and then maybe a scene or two that are part of worlds in between and then we'll just be back at the uh, castle ready to take on the witch. Okay, Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Got Terry Dactyland. I think that was like a platform where I fell down from, too. <laughs> Trinity Industries. Ugh, green smoke. Who knows what's being burned right now? Whatever it is, it can't be good. Saberman's tent. You can kind of see him inside there if you look uh, behind Michael Wesley's name. It's on Cuckoo Land. With a nice jello castle in the background. Kind of going through the world again, I guess. Although it seems like this is about done anyway. Okay, yeah, they're just doing kind of the uh, special thanks type of thing. Star Spinner was another place where I died from. <laughs> yeah, let's just point out all the places where I died. That'd be a lot of fun. Okay, don't think I died there. One of those uh, pterodactyls killed me, though. They knocked me off a platform into the endless abyss, so... I guess it kind of counts. I didn't die in... Well, I think I did die in Grunny in the Streets. I just didn't die, like... On the accident, anyway. Or didn't die on purpose, anyway. I died there a lot. <laughs> Lots of purposeful deaths in that world. Ah, thank you. 
I was, I was glad to make it this far. I really do like this game. Not my favorite N64 platformer, but it's definitely up there. Oh, but what's going on here? Well, don't just stand there. There's still time to save my brother and Jingling by reversing the gun's settings. But there's no instructions. No problem. I'll just press a few buttons and see what happens. No! There, that should do it. You crazy feathered punk. Anything might happen now. I wonder what will hit down there. Look, it's working! Ha! I believe you owe me an apology, dumb jars. Not a chance. Thanks, guys. Life's not much fun as a zombie. Bottles next, then, Kazooie. He's been lifeless for quite a while, so I think you would better turn it up to full power. Not until Soldier Boy apologizes. <sighs> Sorry, Kazooie. Thank you. That's kind of creepy if you think about it, that his ghost is watching that happen to his body. <laughs> oh my god, we played God! Look at the time. I'm really late for dinner. Mrs. B will kill me. I don't care how burnt it is. You're still eating it. It's not my fault. The witch killed me. And I've only just come back to life. Yes, I'm sure you have, dear. Oh, what's this? Goodness, who might you two be? Yo, I'm King Jingling, and this fine fellow is Klungo. Bear and bird free Congo from evil clutches of mistress. They saved me from an eternity as one of the undead. So we come round to celebrate. Sounds good to me. Ooh, lovely. I'll make us some nice scones. But where's Banjo? He's the real hero. Mistress escaped, so brave bear and bird going after her. They'll join us later, but now let's party. Hey, I want to party. This must be the end now. We've had the credits and everyone's alright again. What about Grunty? Oh. I think we ought to just take a quick look at the top of the tower. But there's no way up there. 
Nice try, Banjo, but I reckon that opening below the gun over there probably leads up. Oh, I was hoping you hadn't seen that. <laughs>